All right, so a question on how to draw sine diagrams. We've got a cubic here, 12x cubed minus 48x squared plus 48x. You probably won't be asked for sine diagrams in your IB exam. They'll probably just ask you to sketch them or to solve equations, and you'll need to be able to figure it out anyway. I'll, I'll show you both the sine diagram and the sketch, hopefully. I want you all to be able to sketch, but the sine diagram is sometimes useful for some problems, so I'll show you both methods anyway. First thing I want to do with this thing is it's pretty ugly. Let's make it look a little bit nicer by doing our factorising. So I'll take out the common factor of 12x, leaves me with x squared. I'll take 4x plus 4. You'll recognise the right hand term there is a perfect square. So f of x is equal to 12x times x take 2 all squared. Sine diagram involves checking what the function's doing either side of critical points. Critical points are the intercepts. So I've got intercepts where x equals 0 and where x equals 2. And you just check a number in each region and see what each part, what each expression will look like. If I call the first bit the 12x a and the x minus 2b, it might give you some idea of what I mean. So when I am to the left of 0, term a, the 12x, will be negative. Term B, well, that's going to be positive everywhere because I've got x minus 2 being squared. When you square a number, whether it's negative or positive inside the brackets, it's always positive. So it's really only this A part of the expression that we need to worry about. When I'm less than 0, 12 times x will be less than 0, so I'll have a negative multiplied by a positive. That'll give me a negative. Between 0 and 2, A term, 12x will be positive. The B term is always positive, so I'm going to have a positive. And when I'm to the right of 2, well, it's still going to be positive, isn't it? The a term, 12x, is positive. The x minus 2 is all squared is positive. So that's what your sine diagram would look like. If you need to know where is it greater than 0, you just say x is greater than 0. If you need to know where the function was negative, it's where x is less than 0. But ideally, you'd be able to sketch this thing pretty comfortably and easily too. So let's just make sure we can do that. Draw up some beautiful axes there. Mark my intercepts, one at the origin, the other one at two. It's a cubic, so using your sine diagram, or again, just looking at the expression, when I'm to the left of the origin, I'm negative before I hit that first intercept at zero. The x minus two being squared means that there's a repeated root there, so the equation's just going to touch it at the point two, and then it's going to continue being positive, and your cubic would look roughly like that. You just label that f of x because we always label our equations. So hopefully that's pretty straightforward. I'll do another one in a second, but let's see if that helps you first. All right.